Catherine is with us in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So um, my husband and I found a house that we love, a um, neighborhood we love, and this is going to be long term for us. Like my goal is to pay off my house and die there. So we want to live there forever. I doubt um, but it. We st- <laughs> but that's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> We're not looking into like flip it or move in three years. You know. Okay. Got that. So. Um, we have two credit cards that haven't been paid off yet. You're not ready and, to buy a house. Okay. <laughs> okay. The reason we were thinking about doing it is because we can easily do our mortgage and extra on our credit card. No. Everyone's talking about how no, the rates every, every, are going to everyone, Everyone's broke, and, okay. and everyone's got an opinion about money. I strongly recommend you do not buy a house until you're debt-free and you have your emergency fund plus your down payment. And it'll help if you don't go house shopping before you're ready to buy a house, and that way you don't get house fever and do something dumb. Okay. Yeah, I, I please, please, please. You're going to get yourself in a mess. How much credit card debt have you got? Um, about 15000 Yeah, and your household income's what? 75000 Yeah. You got you got a little work to do for for so, you ready to buy a so house. So now I have a question because we're renting. We've so, been renting for three years, and our rent is a thousand dollars a month, and yeah. our mortgage would be fifteen hundred. Yeah, what's that? So matter? that's why it's like, do we? Is it? Is that's five hundred. That's five hundred dollars more towards your getting out of debt. That's true. That's true. And you got you okay. guys got a mess on your hands. I mean, you've been spending more than you make for some time. Yes, when we were first married, I made a lot of stupid decisions. But we've paid off a lot. Both of our cars are paid off. We're, we've been getting on the right track. Good. How much have you paid now, off so far? Let's see. We paid off my car and... How much money have, have you paid off so money? far? I'm trying to think. I would say about fifteen to 20000 And how long did that take? Um, we've been married for seven years. No, seven I mean, years. you've been working on the debt for seven years? No, let's see. So... Three, because the past three years my husband got a good paying job, and we put like and like. Okay, well let me help you with this. Making seventy five thousand dollars a year, you should pay off fifteen thousand dollars in credit card debt in about nine months. Well, he just got. He hasn't always making seventy five. I know. I'm I'm saying ready, set, go. We need to clean this up so you can buy a house. Okay. Yeah, and but you need to really get after it. I mean, stay out of the restaurant unless you're working there. Okay. And you don't need to go on vacation. And we haven't. And you need to cut Christmas back. We we live pretty low. Uh, and we don't have the internet at okay. our house. <laughs> yeah. I, I want you to really get in attack mode is what I'm saying, because that $15,000 in debt is standing between you and buying a house wisely. Now, I'm not sure I've talked you out of this, because I, I, I think I took your pulse, and I think you have house fever, which is usually when your brain quits working and you buy a house whether you can afford one or not. Because people say, they said, I said, 1500 versus 1000 and all this kind of crap starts going on. So I hope I've woke you up. You may need to take a cold shower, though. That helps with, with house fever. But you, you definitely got house fever. Be careful, because house fever causes you to do dumb things like those credit cards did a few years ago. You're going to get yourself in a mess. You go buy a house, and you keep piling on these debts, and you don't have Murphy will move in your spare bedroom when you buy a house with debt and no money. Broke people buying a house is a curse. It curses you. It doesn't bless you. And you want the house to be a blessing and not a curse.